So Jesse, you might ask, what am I to do? I've got this awesome Aja Key Pro, got an HDMI input. I've got this awesome DSLR camera, and it puts out an HDMI signal. What am I to do? The answer, and this is our recommended system. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to solve your problem. The answer is first, record the internal, record to the internal flashcard. Record everything you want, all your best footage, all your best features, all your best interviews, all your best sports, anything you can get done in a 12 minute le or less clip. Then, on playout, check this out. In playback, I can actually get pretty close to a full frame output. All I have to do is click an info button and I can make that disappear. So now, I may not be in focus, but I've got a full resolution. Notice we're taking up the entire monitor here. There's no letterboxing and there's no pillar boxing. Pretty good. So it's going to take you two passes. The first pass, you're going to have to record to the compact flashcard. The second pass, you can actually put out a full high resolution 1920 by 1080 uh, output of the footage that you've recorded. So you take your first 12 minute clip, shoot it to the camera. Second pass, play that out right into your KeyPro, your Nano Flash, your CineDeck in the ProRes 422 or your CineFone codec, and you've got a great, easily editable copy of the footage that you've got here. Now, one thing that's going to help you through that is this info button right here. See me, Jose? This info button is what changes the amount of information on the screen. So you're going to want to start somewhere like this, where you've got, uh, can we go to um, the output of the camera, please? Thank you. So you'll remember, we had that little progress bar when we're playing out our clip. You're going to have to hit this info button once to make it disappear. So in order to get this done properly, you're going to need two, three seconds of pre-roll before your action starts. Keep that camera recording. You know, you, uh, you don't want to start immediately at the action, because when you're going to do your second pass for record to the HDMI recording device, you're going to need a moment to hit this info button to make the rest of the images the, the battery information, the playback status, all that stuff disappear, all right?